Alright, so we're going to try to do this in the uh, kind of sped up version of events. I've already started some water in this uh, tea kettle here. You can see that tea kettle. Man, my aim is off. And I already boiled it, so it's already hot because I don't want to sit here and wait for water to get hot. I'm going to pour it right up to... right up to that pressure valve this is my coffee ground should have ground the coffee first, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking anything so I've only done this once before so I don't know how much beans, I'm just going to do we'll do two scoops of beans with this uh, Whatever this thing is here, the Castu de Lice. That's not even spelled in English or French. Whatever. Whatever. I really, yeah. Kind of forgot to check to see if any of that was just on video. <laughs> it's supposed to be a fine ground, I know that. I assume I'm going to make a mess here. That's okay. Is that fine ground grind? Not really. How's my aim? Can I get this on video? Oh man. We'll wipe those crumbs up later. How we doing? I think we're gonna call that pretty much good. Two scoops, fill that up, just about perfect. Now, the one thing I did read with this particular type is you don't want any extra coffee grimes interfering. So I got my thing in there. Let's get this going. Front single. Because all I have to do is get this boiling. And it's already hot. So this shouldn't take very long. While we wait for that to reheat up, yeah, I hate to say it, but I use Sam's Club because it's affordable. Sometimes in life, you have to do what's affordable. And I found the dairy at Sam's Club to be affordable. So, oh, I dropped my rag. Okay. Just push those coffee grimes out of the way, make sure I'm not melting that. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be on high. Someone said don't do it on high, so let's do actually let's do a medium. Since it's already pre-warmed. Alright, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of this half and half in here. Maybe this camera. I don't know how much to do. Not quite. Not two two ounces probably. That's halfway up the wall there. Okay. We got this little jammer. We're just gonna Oh, just made a mess. And yeah, it's not warm, and I know you're supposed to warm it up, but I'm not trying to make a 25 minute video. I'm trying to do this all in one shot, no edits. Like a true professional. Right? I got enough light going? Do I need more light? Does that help? Yeah, why not? More light is always better. So, this particular uh, milk frother is low on the torque. I stick it in there, she barely spins, so I gotta really pulse this thing. Maybe do a little more heat on that. I mean, it's pre warm, but I still gotta do it. I'm, I'm aiming for 10 minutes or less on this, so keep your fingers crossed. I don't know how long to froth this for. I guess we got time. Is this intriguing? What are we doing? My technique. Oh, how's my camera technique? Garbage. This is the worst. Oh, the silence is killing me. 
definitely stop for now with that. Oh, you guys spin it off clean. Remember that part. Okay. So we are using this cup. And when I make coffee, because I'm me, I like a little sugar. So when I do it, I use this size spoon, which is small, and I do a scoop of sugar. Big sugar bowl, I scoop it, then I give it a little rattle. And I spill it everywhere. Ooh, that's nice. Burnt sugar on the thing. Nice. I think I hear something. It's getting warm. I don't know. Be nice if it would just brew. <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm just making this shit up as I go. So while we're waiting, let's talk about what I got here. Once again, more more uh, Sam's Club to save the day. This is their organic breakfast blend. Uh, for me, I like whole bean. And this is like uh, the best bang for buck I can find where I live for whole bean. It's not bad either. It's a, a light roast, which from my understanding, the lighter the roast, the stronger the caffeine kick. So fair trade. I guess that's good. They guarantee it. You know, this bag is good till next year, so I'm pretty sure I can make it through. Oh, it's perking. It's making noises. Can you hear it? And we will we will peek once it starts going. We'll get some little we'll get a cheater a cheater cheater pumpkin eater in there. But I'm excited because this is all my new this is all my new uh, I don't know what you call it. New setup alternative setup for coffee. Now if I was super hardcore I would have used my handheld coffee grinder but uh, yeah I didn't think of that until just right now. So we're using this one. This is kicked down from uh, it's my old grandma's. This is my grandma's old old one. Like She stopped using this thing forever. I found it in the back of her bin when she still lived at her house. So that's not even that's not even the good old grandma one. I'm trying to wear that thing out. Move on to the, the next grinders. Oh man. Yeah this is uh Taking longer than I thought it would for like water I already boiled. But someone said don't do it on full blast. Burn it burn your coffee. I don't know. I guess you can't believe everything that someone said, so don't listen to anything I say, just look at what I'm doing and then realize how bad I'm screwing it up and then do it differently. I feel like just putting this thing on full blast. Okay, here we go. There she goes. Can we see that? Can we see in there? See how it's perking? Oh yeah. It's percolating. That's going to be a strong beef right there. And there's carryover time in electric cooking, but I don't know when to shut it off. Like right now, because the way my thing works, it just goes full blast off, full blast off. She's she's sputtering. I think after this round, I'm going to shut it off after this heat pull, so you can see it start, the ring starting to get red. So as soon as that one cuts, I'm turning it off. Okay, we're going off now. Right, that's finishing. We're going to do a little extra frothy froth. Oh, how about I how about I do this all off camera? My setup is so amateur. I watched one lady's video, she said you go in this way, you go in that way, you go up and down, you go in a circle, you do everything you do. I think it's time for new batteries. doing on this. That's pretty much him. So let's go ahead and see if this glass shatters. Let's see if I can pour this and get a good shot on the camera. We want to leave enough room for our... Well, that didn't make much coffee, did it? Is it still brewing? 
Holy Christ, this is going to be the strongest cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. Alright. I want the foam, I know that. If you're a barista and you're watching this, you're probably screaming right now. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the answer is, I have no idea. Fuck it, let's just fill that thing all the way up. Ooh, that's a little extra. A little heavy on the cream. Ooh, that's a little heavy on the cream. That's right. It'll be drinkable. Mmm. Still warm. Ooh, wow. Wow. That is authentic. Can I get my lips in here drinking this thing? Is there more coming out of that? I right, take that off the heat, probably. So. Yeah. Yeah, too much cream, obviously, but what am I going to do with it? Put it back? No. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. That's very strong coffee flavor. There's no doubt about that. Oh, man. Now, I don't know if this is like something you do every day because that's a pain in the ass to clean. That's kind of a pain in the ass to clean. That's going to be a pain in the ass to clean. That's normal. That's normal. So you've added a couple pain in the asses extra to the, the steps of shit you got to do. But where are we at? 11 minutes. So, yeah, that's too long to make a cup of coffee. Oh, so good. All right, that's my new jam. Get that guy back in frame a little bit so you can see him. Ah, oh, that's hot. Whatever. Stay safe, kids. Enjoy your coffee.